Hi, AT from CNC at home. We made this zeroing template for the Atom Stack P7 and it has worked really well for its intended purpose. I have recently discovered an issue with the laser itself. We'll go put this on the Atom Stack P7, take a look at it, and see how the zeroing template always goes in the same spot and this should be our zero. We'll see that that's not always the case. Give this video a thumbs up. Let's go over to the laser and put the template on and I'll show you what I'm talking about. In using this zeroing template that I created, I've come across an issue. The nice thing about this template is when you put it in place, it's always in the same spot. That's cool. This laser also has a homing function, so I can just send it a command and say home. It goes, has limit switches, sets itself to the same spot every time. And that's good. Here's the problem. The way that the laser is connected, when I loosen this nut, you know, it slides up and down. It can also move side to side. That's in our x-axis. It does move a little bit in the y-axis, but that goes away when you tighten it down. It's pretty much always in the same spot. What I'll do here is I will set this over to a more positive this direction Y setting even though the, the laser is zeroed. Let me fire that laser up and we can get zoomed in. Don't know how easily this is going to be to see. The laser dot is here and the corner of our zeroing template is back behind that dot. While doing the focusing, if I make sure to turn this essentially clockwise as I'm tightening up the set screw that holds it in place, now the laser dot is back here at the zero point. I'll try lowering that down, see if you can still see that. I'll try to get the camera positioned so that we can see that. It's kind of difficult to see, but the corner of the template is right there, right where that dot is. When using a zeroing template like this, with this particular laser, it's going to be important to make sure that you have the laser positioned consistently. Normally when I would be using this, I would use it without refocusing the laser on the same type of material. By doing that, whatever it is that I'm etching on would be consistent from piece to piece. If I were to do an etch or a burn, refocus this, do some other projects, and then come back to the original project, if I'm not careful on how I focus the laser and position it, it may be off from how I did it the first time and there's going to need to be a little checking on that. If you create a similar type of zeroing fixture, make sure that your laser is also consistently in the same spot. Otherwise the zeroing template doesn't really get you a whole lot, at least from project A to project B. I hope you found this video useful. It was a short one. If you did, think about giving it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy the content of our channel, think about subscribing. Enjoy doing your CNC at home projects.